And everyone, SEMO hosting UT Martin in an OVC doubleheader. The women playing a thriller in the first game. We're out to the Show Me Center, and I'm telling you, it would turn out to be a wild finish. Former Notre Dame Bulldog star Lexi Rubel making her return to Cape with UT Martin. Rubel drives, kicks, and that leads to a Sydney Boykin three. Rubel had 2.3 rebounds and two assists. Skyhawks leading going into the fourth. Simo defense forced a turnover. Quick transition. Alicia Doyle, she'll finish with the layup right there. And it was quite a finish. Meanwhile, Simo down three with under a minute. Kylie Flowers to Ramina Henderson. And what's Henderson going to do? What do you think? Drain it. It was that kind of night. Knocks it down, ties the game. Now, the ensuing possession for UT Martin. Fans say thumbs up. And yes, it is thumbs up for the Red Hawks because they get the steal. Flowers comes from the backside with it. Now seven seconds to go. Rowdy pumped up and here they go again. Flowers will get it to Corey Tomlin. She puts it up and in. That proves to be the game winner. Just barely any time left on the clock when she made it 56 to 54. The Red Hawks win it. That's three conference wins in a row for SEMO. How about that? Meanwhile, we'll turn to the men's side. The Red Hawks shooting for a fourth straight OVC victory against the Skyhawks. Now, Simo also trying to flip the script on an earlier season loss at UT Martin. Nate Johnson, one of those guys, fired up and inside. He goes up and gets fouled. You see his reaction. You see the bench's reaction. But UT Martin had the answers. Parker Stewart with the basket. And then KJ Simon, a lot of accolades for this guy going into the season. You see why. With the big dunk right there, Ryan Ritter's team up 38-24 at half. Good to see Josh early back. He's had that injury issue, but he's back in the game, and he gets the layup right there for Simo. They put together a, a run trying to get back. Got within about 10 points. Aquan Smart, the lay-in, and then Chris Harris also getting those high percentage baskets, attacking the rim. You can see the strategy right there, but... The fans were ready, but so was UT Martin. Desmond Williams and company would put it away. 80-60, to 60, the final over the Red Hawks in the men's game. Jess Todd joins us live from the Show Me Center with the post game. Well, Todd, injuries again for the SEMO on the men's side, just piling up and continue to give them adversity. Philip Russell went in pregame. He had an ankle issue from practice, but then it wasn't able to actually play during the game. Pair that with a dominant performance from UT Martin, and it led to them not being able to protect the Show Me Center today. But for the women's side, it was Rika Patterson saying all the little things, doing them right, starting to add up. That led to the win that spoiled Lexi Rubel's homecoming. It's just really exciting, you know, I had a lot of fans here and it's really fun to play in front of like my high school friends, my teachers, my family and everything. It's just really fun to come back and know I'm going to have all that fan support. I was just thinking like, we got to come up with this win. I know they was going to think that I was going to shoot the three, but I mean the mid-range was open so I just shot it. My teammates and my coaches believed in me so I just shot it. In the moment I was just happy. Like, UT Martin is a good team, a strong team, and us beating them, it, it took a lot. Corey was a part of the team last year, and she was part, like, we, were, we all struggled together. And there was a point this season that she was struggling, and how amazing it is for her. You hope your players can have moments like that where they struggled, they stayed with it, they believed in themselves, and then look what happens on the other end. I mean, you can't, ha can't help but have joy. It felt like we just couldn't get things going. We couldn't go on our run after they go on their run. So, I mean, I think it's just, it boils down to our mindset and the way we approach the game. I think we just put added pressure on ourselves. You know, we've been playing well. Uh, the team has a very strong opinion about protecting home court. And I think we just put way too much stress and pressure on ourselves uh, to perform at a level instead of just trusting the work that we had done to this point. Well, it's another doubleheader in the OVC on Saturday against Tennessee Tech, so short turnaround. And also for the Red Hawks on the men's side, Kobe Clark went down with an injury. He'll be reevaluated tomorrow. So, Coach Korn also saying you got to let this one go and just focus on Saturday. That's what both teams are now going to turn to do. Todd, back to you in the studio.